All right. I have no idea how close we are to beating this game. Well, we just had the giant golem thing get obliterated. Yeah. It, and now we have a new person in our squad. It's like a little over a week ago or almost a week ago. It's been a while since we played this last. Oh, go back to the Letarian Barracks. Wait, isn't this the Letarian Barracks? Oh, right. We're going to talk to this guy. Uh, the, their leader. Snad Hamwick, exactly the person I wanted to see. It's probably a completely different voice than what I originally gave him, <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. Who cares? I hear that you defeated the tyrant, uh, tyrant before Vados did. This comes to show that we don't need Vados to do our job. Take the bounty, lad. It's yours and yours alone. You may look like a guild tamer, but deep down you're a Letarian hunter. So please, Nat Hamwick, take this as well. You received a sigil. <laughs> it's just a cannon. That's a Letarian sigil, proof that we acknowledge you as a warrior. Kind of useless now, though. Thanks to Vader's suit, nobody will need us to hunt for tyrants. World without tyrants is nice and all, but I can't believe that some freaky lab monster is stealing our job. Ugh, now I'm sorry, kid. This isn't your problem to deal with. Go and enjoy the city. The Letarian sigil will earn you some perks and respect amongst our people. Oh. Okay, so are we going to take up some quests for... Oh, oh, oh. Sorry about everybody ditching you, Snad Hamwick. Don't worry about your friends. Their reaction was is natural in this situation. I've told Atlas everything about your true nature, by the way. Now listen very carefully, Snad Hamwick. This is crucial. Vados' ultimate goal is, perhaps, noble in nature, to protect mankind. He will never stop until all tyrants are slain. That includes you, for you are Omnicron's true heir. It's a cruel fate, but that's just how it is. Who's that? That's what we're supposed to look like. Oh. Huh. That's like the default character icon that we've switched away from. Mm -hmm. You must survive, Snat Hamwick. You need allies. You need comrades. To face Vados, you'll have to have you'll have to recruit an army. Who's gonna help us fight Vados? Nobody dares to face him. The one thing that you once swore to destroy, Snat Hamwick. You must recruit other tyrants. What? A tyrant would never want to work with us. Want to? It's not about what they want. They don't have a choice. If the tyrants don't work together, Vados will annihilate them one by one. Simple as that. They will join you, whether you like it or not, Snat Hamwick. Well, I know that the ice one's still alive. And the bird one. Are these guys not immediately just listening to us and being like, uh... uh mm -hmm. Huh. How are we supposed to find tyrants before Vados does? Atlas, this is exactly the reason Dina retrieved you. This is her idea. Originally built with the ability to track tyrants, a radar, so to speak, remember? Wait, haven't they had him, like... I don't know. Indeed, this has been Dina's plan all along. Snad Hamwick's to become the next king of monsters. And then he must first gather his vassals, does he not? This is your purpose. Help Snad Hamwick build his army and ascend to kinghood. So we're essentially hunting down the quote-unquote legendary, so to exactly. speak. Exactly. I can't believe we're doing this. To scan the entire surface, we'll need a very high altitude. What not the Drake Isles? Surely you can see everything from there. Lydia can probably help you find a good spot. I believe that she's still around here in Lataria. Go talk to her. I don't know if it's a good idea. Probably not. But Vados will surely come after you sooner or later. So I guess you don't have much of a choice here, eh? That's okay. I promise to be a at least somewhat acceptable king. <laughs> Why is everyone choo chewing? Train? Yeah, hype train just ended. Oh. It's when a bunch of people sub and donate bits mm -hmm. simultaneously. Oh. Mm hmm. I get... Choo-choo. Yeah, the hype train pops up. It's mostly to encourage people to 
do it more, but uh. Ooh. Food. Yeah, exotic food. So food that I might not normally Wait, be able to get. The perfect berry. Including the ultimate the meal. perfect berry. No Nexamon can resist this. Uh, do you know what? This makes me want to attempt that recipe that I saw online for the... It was a honey cheesecake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it was a no-bake honey cheesecake with a an orange gelatin that you then drip honey over. Sounds good to me. Top. We don't have a proper mold for the top. Uh, for like all the little honeycomb effects. Oh well. I mean, we could find something. Also, our honey isn't very liquid, is it? No. Uh, uh, the one, the one issue with we can buy more honey. The one issue with all the honey that we ever get is that it seems to crystallize. Oh, wait a minute. She's injured. Ah. She's having a bad day. How pitiful our situation is, wouldn't you agree, Snat Hamwick? Vados's power. I can't even begin to fathom what he's capable of. The other tyrants and the renegades are hiding, but he will find us. I'm sorry, Snat Hamwick. What else can we do? We can still win. Huh? Win? Oh, Snad Hamwick, this isn't about defeating Vados anymore. This is about survival. When Vados ascends to power, what will happen to traitors like you and me? What will happen to this world if he goes mad? How about we recruit the other tyrants? I have a radar for that. I just need a place to set it up. Huh? Are, are you serious? A place to set up a tyrant radar? Well, how about... Excuse me. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. It's... Wait, who is Ooh. this? I've never seen her before. Well, Have you seen her before? Nope. Excuse me. Why, oh boy. hello, uh, tamers. <laughs> oh, say, I couldn't help but eavesdrop in your entire conversation. You have a tyrant radar? <laughs> wow! Uh oh. What? I, you, you have I, an Oreo an stuffed Oreo. in your mouth? Yes, I do! Oh, it must be awfully valuable. <laughs> Finish consuming that! Finish consuming. That's only logical. It could probably fetch a million coins. Ah, try a billion coins. Oh boy, gotta hide that from thieves. You bet. I'm so light that even a small girl could steal me. Haha. <laughs> this is all just foreshadowing. Is she just gonna take him right then and there? Yep. She just slipped and fell. Well, there's that tile there. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Damn it. It was all a ruse. Uh, come on. We don't have time for this. We need Atlas to find the tyrants. Snad Hamwick, we must go after them. Hurry. I, I just, I was kind of hoping they were going to subvert it by just having it so that she just fails. And so we expect that he's going to get s stolen. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I know where she went. Ah, 
I think we lost them. Do you have any idea where that thief could have gone, Snad Hamwick? Huh? Huh. I just realized that you don't talk much, Snad Hamwick. No wonder you always had Coco around. Perhaps some of the locals have seen the thief. We should ask... Uh, I should ask them. I just, that name, I cannot take it seriously, no matter how many times it's said in a very serious sentences. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could change it. Snad wouldn't be such a terrible name-ish. It's pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. See, we could name ourselves, um, uh, what is it? Also, what is up with you and Ham? Because Hamsterdam, Hamwick... Look, like what is it? They're part of an illustrious line of people that you can never take seriously and under es underestimate thoroughly. Oh, so this is place was off limits, under construction. What was what was all the tape outside? Caution. Yeah. Hmm. This place reeks of tyrant. Are you sure that that thief is here? She didn't seem like the sort of tamer who dare venture into a dungeon this dangerous. I just selected this place because it's literally the only other place that we haven't been to plot-wise. <laughs> That's true. In this direction. But you're right. I have two ca- Huh. What? Oh, I've never seen this thing before. Oh, we we've seen it before. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Okay, I thought for a moment that it yeah. was going to, to Mild break. panic. You're right, though. I do have... Uh, I do have two series in recent memory. Or something was named... Had a ham-themed name. So, clearly I will need to diversify and be more interesting. <laughs> Ham is tasty, but it's also bad for you. Yeah. I would, I, wanna... I, I would only ever have ham oh. with the ham... If I get really hungry, I can have the, the fake ham sandwich. Yeah, that's true. We did. Well, I thought it's more, more supposed to be fake turkey, but I suppose... Did we also get fake ham, too? Yeah, yeah we've got some... Well, it's deli meat, whatever it is. Yeah. Its bird-like form is perfect for controlling the shadows. It flies above its opponents, disappearing and reappearing in advantageous places. Like my storage box. <laughs> where it will live forever. Yeah, because for the most part, I only ever have ham with ham and cheese sandwiches, ham and pineapple Hawaiian pizzas. Very rarely, I mean, we would have kind of like a broiled or oven baked ham for say Christmas on occasion mm. there were those fall hams remember ah that's what we used to have with the squash remember when I would make up the sort of brown sugar cherry oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. cherry ham let's see are there any other games on the docket for tonight if I'm up for it I might go out of my way Oops. Definitely not this guy. Well, there there was also that witch game. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm kind of committed to the idea of Anime Saturday, but we have Ekenfell, we have... Uh, oh, no, that kills it. Uh, we got Ekenfell, we've got Raft Chapter 2, but I don't think she's interested in that today, at least. Uh, I've got two other JRPG-ish games. Gravity Rush, which was requested by General Bacon, but I haven't seen him around. So I put it off. And then I have 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, which I'd like to play, but there's no way I'm going to be able to do a full series on it. So what I'm really going to do is a, a one-off on it at some point. And so I, what I'd like to do is finish Nexamon or finish as much as possible. Because this series is lasting a little long for me. I think I think we're getting close to 40 episodes in, and that's... Mm -hmm. I I just can't keep my focus this year long enough. Like, I, I start getting really itchy, and there's so many good games coming out that I can't just say, like, skip it, if that makes sense. 
Because most of the time I can just be like, whatever. And you we know. do want to... We wanted to play some horror games for October, and then there was also... Oh, what else? You're just jumping up and down on all I, these caverns. I didn't know what these jump platforms were for. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, I have too many good games that are demanding my time. Oh, there are some VR games we wanted to play too. Oh. Oh. There's a glow in... Hmm. What? I can't do that. I already told you. But you're supposed to be a supercomputer. What do you mean you can't mine Bitcoin? I wasn't made for that. Uh, I'm just gonna have to sell you your tyrant radar then. Huh? Oh, snap! Hey! Return what I stole! Come and fight me, rookie. Well, looks like you have a good next mon for this at the very least. Yep. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too concerned. Oh. Whoa, what it uh, I a it's, sizzle. A, it's a cook. It yep. has a, a skillet and a, a spatula for hands. That and is it's gone. That is horrifying. I, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. A weird mannequin conductor doll uh, thing? Mm hmm I don't know. The weird thing is, this particular one actually resembles an existing Pokemon. Yeah. I forget what it's called, though. It's one of the later generations. Yeah, it's one of the later generations and one of the ones that... Kind of easy to forget. Yep. As I had said before, I would much rather that Pokemon keep with their most well-liked and iconic ones and just make different type variants. Yeah, I, I would love for them to say, we're not making many new more, or... <laughs> many more new ones. Yeah, there we go. You know, pretty much lock it down to what they've already got, and then say, alright, from now on, all future Pokemon are just going to be uh, variations on what we already have, or, you know, maybe some kind of variations within. So, like... What about, uh, I'm not going to say crossbreeds, but like, well, yeah, actually, what if there was kind of like a couple of, uh, specific bred Pokemon that you could only get by, uh, combining them together? Mm, they would have to be very closely related. So like two bird types. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Or like Pikachu and Meryl. Mm, that might come up with something cool. Yeah, exactly. You know, just some weird... Some weird Pokemon crossbreeds instead would actually be quite satisfying. Oh, I mean, people have an absolute ball creating Pokemon yeah. fusions. All and the so, time. like, instead of coming up with new Trashmon to just kind of fill out a roster, just fill the gaps between them. Just add a bunch here and there, and it actually would be pretty good. Yeah, because just looking at that spatula one back there, I was thinking, oh. Yeah, it's just, pretty dumb. How many. How many more recent Pokemon have we run into that I couldn't see anyone wanting to use in their team? Uh, mm. Fine, fine. Take your stupid toaster. He told me what you're doing, and I don't want anything to do with that. You want to team up with tyrants? Come on. Do you see the skeleton behind me? That's Grunda. He's the reason that there's a giant hole instead of a city in the desert. Hmm. Give up, mate. Just let Vados do his job. Who will this be? What do you think will happen when Vados' job is over? Or wait, no, uh, it's you. What do you think will happen when Vados' job is over? Vados will slay the tyrant, sure. That's his prime directive. A violent, mindless, and soulless machine. Who cares? The tyrants will be gone. No more war. The tyrants won't be gone. Eh? Vados isn't a true Nexamon. Thus, he will never be acknowledged as the king of monsters. As such, Omnicron's throne will remain vacant. 
The tyrants will continue to rise day after day trying to claim it. So, so what? Manos will slay those tyrants as well. He's super powerful. Of course he will slay them, and the ones after those too. Day after day, Vados will mercilessly exterminate tyrants in every corner of our planet, yes. Oh, will he obliterate whole swaths of the planet then too, and it will be no different than if the tyrants had done it themselves? Mm-hmm. An endless cycle of destruction that will eventually decimate all life on this world of ours. But what? And with Vados' relentless determination and power, how many more times can this planet endure such brutality? And how long before humans are continent? Hmm. It's not Hamwick. This is not where I wanted to give you this, but our time is short. Close your eyes. His power? That's the remainder of my power, Snat Hamwick. This is the element of Earth. The time has come to build your army against Vados. The tyrants must unite if this world's to survive. What's up? Is this his corpse? I don't think so. Is it just a lesser tyrant that was also Earth-based? Probably, yeah. Mm. Uh, we haven't heard his name yet. I And unfortunately, I, I think the only people that actually would know aren't here right now. Mm-hmm. It's not Hamwick. Take Atlas to the Drake Isles and use this radar to locate the tyrants before Vado saves them, slays them. Even if we do find them, it won't be easy to convince them to join us. You can do it, Snat Hamwick. This is what makes a true king of monsters. So, did this girl just pop up for this, or is she coming along with us? What's Who the knows? deal? Would you like to know if it was his corpse? Yes, absolutely. Ronda, huh? It is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember fighting this guy. Super weak, very pathetic. Uh, 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 ouch. Oh, ouch, Atlas, really? Hello, Snad Hamwick. I know a decent spot in the Drake Isles where we can set up Atlas's radar. Would you like to leave this dungeon now? Are we done here? Oh, let's stay a little longer. Let's talk with the girl. What? What do you want? This is one of my many hideouts. People are afraid of this big tomb. Good luck with the whole tyrant army thing, I guess. Yep. Really? It's absolutely Mentor's corpse. Mm-hmm. I knew it. I do kind of wish some of the tyrants we ran into were this big. Because we keep seeing giant... Gosh darn bodies all over the place. Well, I think the thing is, the massive tyrants are Omnicron's children. True. We're finally outside. Let's head to the Drake Isles and set up the radar, shall we? Remember my village? That's where we must go. I really do like the color palettes that they have for each of these areas. Yeah. I This is absolutely one of my favorite games this year, visually and like gameplay-wise. They absolutely knocked it out of the park. Let's see. I think too it's because so much of it is painted. Yeah. As opposed to vectorized, it would have been too harsh if everything was. Whereas just having the characters makes them stand out and animate properly, but then they're in these painted backgrounds. Oh, hey! Lydia's waiting for us over there. She can show us a good place to set up the tyrant radar. Hurry up, Snad Hamwick. I know the perfect spot for Atlas. You'll be able to scan the world below for tyrants without any problems. Oh, this area. Is this supposed to be a carnival and stuff? Oh, here we go. This is the most appropriate area to set up your radar. From here, we can find all the tyrants before Vados hunts them down. 
So this is what Dina wanted me to do, huh? All right, time to scan the world. Well, what do you see, Atlas? Oh, the radar is working. I can see the tyrants. One, two, three, four. There are four tyrants out there. Wonderful. If we can recruit them all, we might actually stand a chance against Vados. Truly, fate seems to be in our favor for once. Any news, Vados? Uh, why, yes, I've located quite a few tyrants. Is that so? Four. Four tyrants within my grasp, yes. Four tyrants? That's remarkable, Vados. If you can slay them, it'll be a huge step forward for us. Absolutely, Amelie. I won't fail you. I will decimate them at your command. Then, defeat the tyrants, Vados. Prove to the world that you, you are on the side of humanity. Ha! Don't you... Uh, don't worry, Mulsimer. I forget this guy's voice. Once you recover, we will take over Ignitia, for sure! They will see... They... We will have our revenge. Huh? What was that? What? What's going on? What's this power? Well then... Ah! What is this? Mulsimer! Mulsimer! Yo, Mulsimer just got lasered. Oh, is this where the ice crab is? Probably. Mm hmm. Hmm? Huh. What to do? What to do? The guild has finally revealed the existence of Vados. A Super Nexamon, they call it. No worries, though. The old tower is a good shelter. We'll just hide here and... Huh? Whoa there. This sound, where is it coming from? Huh? Nivalis! What? Well, what the heck? So we thought we were gonna go around and recruit these guys, but they're getting lasered to oblivion. Wander. Mm-hmm. How are they? How is Vados gonna get to this guy underwater, though? Uh, Isn't that gonna destroy the entire? It base? might be bad. Yeah flood everything unless uh, hopefully these guys have seals between their hallways and stuff hopefully but... if i'm not mistaken vados must be hunting down the tyrants of the surface all according to plan <laughs> vados will be weakened from so much effort he'll be vulnerable that'll be our chance to betray amelie and take over her guild <laughs> literally nothing can go wrong <laughs> what what Amelie! Oh no, uh -oh. what about what about her lounging one? No, this is not good. Just just five more minutes. <laughs> what? Totally worth it. That, that's it. They're all, they're all dead. Downfall achievement unlocked. Uh, no, no way. This is, this is impossible. Atlas, the tyrants. I, I'm afraid so. The tyrants are gone. All of them. We lost. We, we lost before we even started. Everything we've done. For nothing. Why? Why is this happening?
Snad Hamwick. Snad Hamwick. Oh, is this her? Is this the it, mother? Yeah, perhaps? it might be. Can you hear me, child? Don't give up hope yet, Snad Hamwick. There is one more tyrant. You can still win. Watch carefully, Snad Hamwick. Open your eyes. Huh? Is this the past? Hmm. Well, wait. The grand capital city of Parum. Go to the capital city. In the capital city, there is a forbidden pathway to Khan Woods. You must intrude. You must make your way there at any cost. What you see is a safe haven that not even Vados can see. A shelter from his wickedness. A paradise within a battlefield. You must come here, Snad Hamwick. You must come to me. We also do have the revive machine. The other tyrants may have been slain, but there's still one way to outsmart Vados. You must hurry, Snad Hamwick. I am your ally. I am waiting for you. Are you kidding me? A tyrant just talked to you? Oh. He wants you to come to the capital? This is definitely a trap. Come on. Have you heard of a forest in the middle of the city, Lydia? Okay, so it might be he. He hmm. might have to talk for it. Okay. Wait, what did she say? She just said dot dot dot. Uh. Oh, looks like she lost her will to fight. Well, it's not like we got any other option. Let's go to the capital city. You were pardoned by Edward, so... Pro nobody will stop us. Probably nobody will stop us? I don't know about that. I do kind of wish this game had a system where you could uh, raise your own tyrants. Like, based on a, uh, certain there things, are, like a despite, nature, nature type would evolve into a tyrant. Despite the fact that the tyrant egg is really just to unlock your own power, it would have been... Actually, can you look at the egg? I want to see what it looks like now that you have the earth power, too. Oh. Huh. So this is what became a Perum. Gives me the chills just thinking of how close we were we are to Vados. Did some research and there's a small forest accessible to the northwest side of the city. Let's check it out. You were saying? Oh yeah, so it's it is an orange gem. So I assume the middle is the green life gem. Probably normal. That's the symbol or for normal. That's the symbol for normal. Mm. Maybe no, it's a star. Heck if I know. It still would have been really cute if... Uh, how much you want to bet you're going to go into tyrant mode and face Vados in a Nexomon versus Nexomon battle where you are just the Nexomon? I, I kind of keep hoping for that. But it keeps not happening, which is unfortunate. But I, I would love to go full Breath of Fire on somebody. <laughs> what, was Breath of Fire where you were the dragon? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, is it Breath of Fire 3? I think Breath of Fire 3 is the one that I really like. Where you start the game off as like a dragon trapped in crystal or like an egg or something. Mm -hmm. But they find you in a mine and so the first like the tutorial effect effectively is you as a dragon whelpling. Just Eating wrecking, wrecking people. Ooh. Uh, excuse me, you don't have an access card, do you? Well, the authorized tamers and researchers may visit the woods. Do you know any scientists who can lend us an access card? This place is full of them. Someone around here should be willing to give us access. Oh, would the white-haired lady? Yeah, that's be what able I was to? thinking. Um, but then after that, your character eventually gets the ability to just turn into a dragon, kind of at will. Oh, oh, Snad Hamwick. What is it? Do you need something? Hmm? Oh, Con Woods, huh? Uh, 
It's not a big deal, really. It's just a bunch of colorful trees and whatnot. Yeah. Well, as long as you're not doing anything fishy again, I wouldn't mind letting you in. You are a gold tamer, after all. All right, Snad Hamwick. You can borrow my access card. You received Bonnie's access card. Ah! Whoops! Oh, that must be Vados. He's growing a little impatient trying to find more tyrants to hunt. Oh, don't worry about it, though. Have fun in the woods, Snad Hamwick. Why didn't they just make an orbital laser? Like, Vados why did they is to... an orbital laser. Yeah, I, he is, but <laughs> why didn't they just make a gun that they could then dismantle? Why did they have to make it a semi-living creature? A sentient creature? creature? Yeah. I, hmm, hmm, I don't know. Ooh, forests. I love forests. They're my favorite biome. Onwards. Because of all the lily mushrooms. Oh, look at this little... place. It's plagued with scientists. You sure? Really sure there's a tyrant hiding here? My radar should have picked something up already. Onikiri! What is here? Oh, shoot. An Onin for onion. Look at this forest background, though. It is real pretty. Oh, I know. I love these little battlegrounds. And the way that they're animated, too. Oh, that's a heavy oversight on this team. What? Just Not having... a single one of them is good against... Oh, you need a flame one, don't you? Yeah, I don't have any... Oh, oh, oh wait, we're recruiting this tyrant. We're we're not burning him, as far as we're concerned. Yeah. I just realized I have no anti-nature. Uh... I mean, I, got, I guess my nature guy is kind of good enough, but... What? what is, a turkey? Yeah. Vendoy? Vendois? I'm just... If I don't own it, I'll catch it as I go by. Mm -hmm. Well, it was caught. Vendoises are considerably faster than the average Nexamon, but its greatest perk is the long distances it can travel without getting tired. Re really? This looks like a dumb turkey. What would that be its defining feature? It, it could be more like a roadrunner or something. Guess. 